passion fruits, it's your girl VH with another video. Welcome back to my channel. When I'm in public with Luki or when I'm educating people about birds of prey, like in elementary schools for example, I'll often hear the question, what's that bird doing? For me, the behaviors raptors and owls display are pretty obvious because I've observed them for long enough to know what they mean. For people who don't know anything about birds of prey, the simplest things can seem a mystery. I was like that in the beginning too. Even when I already had Lucky, I called up my mentor a zillion times to ask him what this or that particular behavior meant. So let's take a look at some of the behaviors that owls and raptors tend to display when they feel comfortable. When comfortable, our birds will show it in a number of ways. The most heartwarming of these being a display of natural, comfort-showing behaviors while we're handling them. Be it at home or when we're in public doing demonstrations or educating people like in elementary schools, for example. These behaviors include rousing, feeking, as well as preening. Rousing is when a bird will puff out shake out and then slick back down its feathers. About half the time, immediately following a rouse, the birds will waggle their tail feathers as an extended sign of comfort or contentment. Let me show you some footage of Luki, my barn owl, rousing. is when a bird closes its eyes and rubs its beak on something to clean it. Be it the glove we're handling them on or the perch we've just put them back on. I generally see feeking happen at one of two times. Either I've just finished flying my owl or right after I put it back on its perch. This behavior happening right after flying is understandable since they could have bits of their meat reward stuck on their beak. Why they do it so often when they get put back on their perch could be a sign that they are back in even more comfortable surroundings. Another time birds tend to feek is right after they're done preening. Here's some footage of Luki feeking while she was taking a bath. I took the footage um, from a live stream that was recorded with a webcam, so I apologize if the quality is a bit less than usual. Yes, she's feeking. This is feeking, you guys. I was waiting for this. Do you guys know what feeking is? What she just did with her beak on the plastic uh, called feeking, and um, they do this when they feel comfortable. So if you're at a demonstration with your bird, for example, and your bird does it um, while... Preening is when a bird tends to the condition of its feathers by gathering oil with its beak from a gland at the base of its tail and distributing it on its feathers while cleaning and rearranging the feathers. The oil reconditions and waterproofs the feathers. Preening is a very important behavior for all birds. Here is some footage of Luki preening herself. Uh, there have, you know, there do happen, you know, there are a lot of accidents that happen in falconry like that. Victor OMG says, can you say how are you doing in Dutch? Okay, who got it? That's it, who got it? Oh, Jenin says, I have no idea what you were saying before. Um, someone asked me, Jenin, if I was Dutch and I answered that I was Dutch, but that, I, but that I'm not from the Netherlands, that I'm actually from Belgium. So that was what I said. You didn't really miss anything important. <laughs> Uh, 
Oh, Jared says that he has seen in one of my videos that I pet my owl and he, sh he says I should be careful because they have um, oil on their feathers. They have a layer of oil on their feathers. And um, if you pet them too often, then the oil will come off and it will cause, um, it will cause them to create holes in the feathers and then the feathers will break off. In theory, this is true. I mean, owls do have an oil, an oily layer on their feathers, but I don't pet Lucky that often. Um, I only pet her, you know, I don't. While our birds exhibit all of these behaviors on a daily basis, most of these behaviors occur when they are just sitting on their perch, watching the day unfold. The times it's rewarding is when our birds are on our gloves in the middle of a program and they're comfortable enough with us handling them to exhibit natural behaviors. Birds in captivity have the opportunity to display these behaviors at any point during the day as they almost always do. The times when it means more is when they decide they feel comfortable enough with whoever happens to be handling them that they decide to display these signs of comfort. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new to this channel because I make a lot of videos every week. And if you like owl things like owl t-shirts, coffee mugs, jewelry, flip-flops, um, wall art and much more, then check out my owl merchandise. You can do that either at my viral style store or at my Vida shop. The links to my stores will be in the description box of this video down below. So check it out if you want. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!